Hello. I know this is quite random. Well, not really random exactly, but somewhat random. But my family left earlier, and I'm just kind of here, and I was thinking about recording something, but I didn't know what to do. I was going to do, like, I don't know, maybe a mod thing, maybe work on my map more, something. But then I thought, why not just play the game? You know? Something I used to do all the time back when I had the other channel that we'd never talk about. Don't worry about the other channel. All the videos are, un are unlisted and don't exist anymore. That was back in, like, elementary school when I had that, and I just kind of play survival minecraft on my mom's laptop whenever i visited her house since then i mean i've played survival minecraft but i haven't really just recorded it you know and just chilled hello i'm just gonna borrow this forever thanks these two but yeah really that's just the plan is that you know there isn't really a plan i'm just chilling existing i don't really have a goal for this and i don't think i'm gonna continue it like, I don't think I'm going to do a whole survival series or whatever. I don't know. Just really felt like existing, playing the normal game today for some reason. And I didn't want to just continue on some random survival world that none of you would have any context for. So I was like, you know what? I'll just make a new one for this and just exist. Oh, hey, iron. I also just haven't done any, like, just chill random talking videos in a while and I used to do well I wouldn't say a lot of them but I used to do them more often and I was thinking you know obviously I need at least something to talk about generally I mean otherwise it's just gonna be silence for like an hour well like an hour two hours for me it'll be less for you obviously but I was thinking why not at least start I don't know if I'm gonna talk about it the whole time but with the uh, Minecraft is boring be like video thingy because I don't even have to say I assume I know for a fact like all of my <laughs> subscribers came from that video which I was not expecting like at all you guys wouldn't know this like I knew it was a popular trend and stuff and that's why I made the video because I kept getting recommended those and kept getting really annoyed by them and that's why I made it to make fun of the ones that I did so like I I knew it was a popular trend but but when like actually making the video and like talking to my friends about it and stuff I honestly thought and made it very clear that I thought it would not do well I thought it'd maybe get like I don't know 100 200 300 maybe i don't know i didn't think it'd become my new most popular video which by the way now is insane i still don't know how it did that well honestly like i genuinely don't know it is the only video i've ever scripted i guess so there's that i had like an actual script for it like of what the outline was gonna be um and that's the only video i've ever done that with so i mean i guess that helped but i did not expect it to do nearly as well as it did especially when it started like really popping off within like a day it was my lowest viewed video for like a day and a half it was 10 out of 10 bro it was the worst and then i fell asleep and the next day it had a couple hundred and i was like oh yo what the hell that's sick um yeah and then it just kept going up <laughs> and I didn't know what to do with that, man. I had no idea. Because I don't really do the Be Like videos often. I had, like, plans for a couple, and obviously I did the other one after, which I already filmed some stuff for even before I did the Minecraft is Boring one, because I had, like, multiple plans, but um, some of them I stopped, some of them I never even started. Um, I'm working on one right now of another thing that I've been seeing a lot of recently. But yeah, I was... <laughs> I was not expecting how much it grew and how much I grew in relation to it. Like, I had, I think it was like 300 subs, maybe less, I think, actually, before that video came out. And now I'm almost at 3,000. And that is insane to me because I'm not a YouTuber. I'm never going to call myself a YouTuber until I have like, I don't know, maybe a couple hundred thousand if it ever gets that many, which I highly, highly doubt. But until that point, I'm never going to refer to myself as a YouTuber because it's I mean, it's not my job. It's not what I do. It's just a little thing I do for fun. It's mostly for me and my friends and whatever. It's just you know, something I like doing. And it's like the closest thing I can get to filming, really. For those of you who don't know, which is probably all of you, I went to like a filming or like video editing and like uh, 
digital media high school thing. So I did a lot of editing there and stuff like that. Funny story about that, by the way, I got my computer like the summer before that year started that I actually went to like um, into DMA2. DMA1 was more of like Photoshop, um, taking pictures, uh, how to use Lightroom, stuff like that. DMA2, um, Digital Media Arts 2, was more about filming and DaVinci Resolve and, you know, um, storytelling and, uh, you know, um, techniques to use in, in films and stuff like that. And, you know, watching and reviewing films in class. But the summer before that class is when I got my PC and it, so it's when I started actually, you know, making and editing videos on my computer. Before that it was always on my phone because it's all I had. And so at the start of the year, other than the teacher, I was the only one who knew anything about DaVinci Resolve because it's what I used. It's free and so it and it's good. So I mean, why not? It's what I used. Um, more iron stuff, that's pretty good. I mean, obviously I wasn't like really good at it or anything. I was like mediocre at best with it. I just knew how to use it and I was the only one. Cause in the year before, if we did any film things, it was always like, oh, use Adobe something, something. It was always Adobe. Why is, okay, hello, sir. But um, I honestly hated Adobe and like all of their things. It was just so overly complicated for no reason. DaVinci's just a lot smoother. Is he stuck? Oh, well, this works. Yeah, I did stuff like that, and I found that really fun. So, I mean, just making random videos and doing stuff like that is the closest thing to that, I guess. So, that's probably one of the reasons I enjoy it. I'm also just generally a, like, more creative person than, like, you know, a... Like, I, I sucked at every normal subject in school, which is why they were like, hey, you can go to this film school thingy instead, and do stuff because you draw in class all the time or like you know stuff like that and i was like okay funny thing about that too they were like yeah but you need to actually have like you know kind of decent grades before you can go and i was like okay and then proceeded to not try um and still got horrible grades and then they were like okay you can go anyways because the teacher liked me when i did like the interview thing to go to that school instead and honestly i don't know for sure if i would have graduated if it wasn't for that because that was, like, so good for me because I got to, you know, do creative stuff and still get graded for, you know, like, normal, um, uh, you know, classes. Even though I wasn't actually, you know, doing most of the normal classes except the core ones that I, like, needed to do. I say that, but actually the core classes are the ones I skipped. It was the side classes that I still had to return to the school for at the end of the day. But yeah, I've always been more of a creative person. Um, I don't normally, like talk about it often though because I never really have time to but like I do d and I have a comic I've been working on since literally second grade I've had the story planned I'm, I've rewritten it redrawn it like over and over um but it's existed and I've been working on it since second grade so that's a thing I'm also writing a book um and if you've noticed any of the maps I make, I never really try to give them lore or a story to them, but every single time I just end up giving it one anyways, including the new one, the Impossible Map multiplayer one that I'm making now. And it's not on purpose, like, it just kind of happens, you know? Same thing uh, a while ago, me and my friend were making, like, custom Magic the Gathering cards just for, like, a joke to just fight each other and with like custom magic the gathering cards and stuff because we thought it'd be funny and within like 10 cards i developed an entire world and story around what this deck was and why is there a villager dying outside i think i never really thought about it before but i always found a way to do something stupid or silly or creative with any other obsession that i had as well like if i like to show i'd draw characters from it or if i got super into science, which I did in like elementary school through some of middle school. I was like super into science. And so I started making these like cards based off of the elements on the periodic table. And you could evolve them, do other stuff with them. And you know, the obviously the higher ones up on the periodic table that had like more numbers and everything were stronger, stuff like that. Is this a new Minecraft background song? I don't recognize it. To be fair, I play with the music off a lot of the time though. I think, I think what I'm gonna do is try to just make a house or something, and then I'll end it. Because I really don't know um, what else to do 
to mark an ending for this. I also realized I've gone off topic so many times. I forgot I was going to talk about the one video more. Really, all I was going to mention is that uh, Minecraft is boring videos be like thing. Yeah, I'd like to I'd like to say that was like recorded, edited, all of that within like two, three days. 90% of that is background footage from other videos that I didn't know what to do with or just like silly joke things that I thought of. Like in one part, I summon Hero Brian, and in another, I light the portal in the ancient city. All of those are just like random things I thought would be funny. Oh, hello. <laughs> Hi. But yeah, so most of that was already recorded beforehand. I mean, it wasn't gonna be for that video specifically, but I had recorded it, didn't know what to use it for, and so I was like, oh, you know what? I can uh, do it for that video, because I wasn't gonna use it for anything else anyways. What else can I talk about? Chat that I don't have? What should I talk about, chat? I know I don't have a chat, but, you know, tell me anyways. Do I still remember how to build one of these? That's the real question. The answer is probably no, I don't think. I haven't done one of these in, like, forever. I think it's something like that, and then... Maybe? I mean, it works, so that's fine. Also, another thing, I guess, I'm so hyped for whatever the new, like, mini update thing that they talk about at Minecraft Live is gonna be. Because the creaking in the pale garden just sounds so creepy. Some people are, like, thinking it's gonna be an end biome thing, which I don't think so, because there was grass in the one screenshot they showed. But even if it's, like, above ground, below ground, an end biome, an ancient city thing, maybe, I don't know. Whatever it is, though, I don't care as long as it's creepy because it it looks and like sounds from like the whole ARG thing and like the creaking noises and everything that they did with it and the name of the pale garden and like the creaking. I mean, it sounds like it's going to be like a creepy thing and that sounds so cool. And I hope that it works better than the ancient city because I mean, the warden's just kind of more menacing than it is creepy and it's also just kind of funny because you can just walk away from it and build up with wool. And a lot of people don't do that. I, I don't know why, but yeah, you can kind of just escape it really easily. Okay, this portal's just refusing to light and that's awesome. Do I have to do this? Do I have to like, you know, get get one of these on, on this side too? Is that what I have to do? I guess I can build a little, a little shack here as my house. I don't see why not. I mean, I don't really know what else to talk about anyways. I guess just thanks. I, I haven't really said it. I was going to make, you know, a big subscriber special thing, but I just kept get I was going to be a thousand and then I was at two and then I felt like it was too late and then like blah, blah, blah. And then I didn't know what I was going to do. Oh, hey, the portal. Lit. But with all that, I, I haven't just said like, thank you. Because <laughs> that did... I mean, way better than I expected. I didn't expect it to do good at all. And so that was incredible. Um, and just really, really cool, honestly. <laughs> but yeah, just know um, if you're going to refer to me as a YouTuber, um, don't. <laughs> I'm not one. YouTube isn't, you know, YouTube's just kind of a goofy, silly little thing I do. It's not you know, what I am. I do a lot of other stuff. I just, you know, don't talk about it, I guess. It's not really a need to, and there's never really been a time to, but just know it's it's just a little thing I do to be silly goofy, and, you know, I like doing it. It's really fun, and that's why I do it. But I don't really record much, because, I mean, I guess I never really talked about it, but I thought it was still relatively obvious. Like, I'm still young, so I still live with my family. And I am, like, more socially awkward with my family than anything else. So I don't do, like, anything when they're here. So recording, going on the treadmill, cooking, just doing anything. I just wait until they're gone. 
Though, I mean, sometimes if I really need to, I'll do it while they're there and just be really quiet or have my AC on, which is why sometimes in like the Roblox videos or whatever, my audio can be a bit different or worse. It's because the AC is on in the background and I'm being quiet and stuff, you know? But yeah, so not only do I not have a lot of time to, um, there's also when I do have time, there's other things I could do, like draw or go on the treadmill or like lift weights or whatever, or like, you know, cook. I like cooking. Um, I guess I never mentioned that. I wouldn't say I'm good at it, but I do really like cooking. It's fun. You can tell I have no idea what to talk about for this. Like, <laughs> Oh yeah, I guess there's also, you know, I could mention, because I've talked about it in the comments of, you know, the uh, Minecraft is boring video, but what I like to do in the game, because, because I mean, a lot of that is obviously talking about how building in redstone, they never talk about that. And so a lot of people in the comments are like, hey, is that the only thing that you do? Like you have to understand that PVP exists and like other things exist. And I know because I do all of them. I don't think there's a single aspect of Minecraft that I haven't done and like don't like or whatever. I enjoy all of it. And I also didn't, you know, mention the flaw. I mean, obviously the game has flaws. Every game does. I wasn't, you know, talking about that. That was a funny joke video just to talk about the stupid like really dumb minecraft is boring videos there are good ones for sure there are like really good ones that bring up good points and like bugs and like you know problems with the game it's just the ones i was making fun of don't and just kind of say it should be like this the way i want it to be and should be more like terraria <laughs> or you know something like that and it's just really stupid so yeah i mean of course there's flaws but i like all aspects of the game I'm not good at any of them, for sure, but I like all of them. So I'm coming at it from probably the least biased perspective. My perspective is biased only in the fact that I think the community at times can act like a bunch of stuck-up toddlers. To be fair, most of the community probably is toddlers, but, you know. But even the ones that aren't can act like it sometimes. It is a game that you buy once... And that's it. You get constant updates. And most games don't even do that. Most games, you pay like $70 for a game now. And then if they have a DLC, you have to pay money for that. And I know Minecraft does, but that's mostly on Bedrock. Um, but you don't have to get those. And I guess you don't have to for the other games as well. But with this, you still get DLC in quotation marks, which is the updates, the constant updates and like, you know, different features that are added to the game. Obviously, some are better than others, uh, some are worse than others, like that piston sound that they did, like, what the hell was that? But I mean, all in all, it is still free content. And also a lot of people were bringing up Bedrock and, like, Pocket Edition and stuff. And again, I played that. I only recently got a PC. Like, the first PC video on my channel, the one where I got every achievement, whatever, um, you can go back, I think it was, like, two years ago. That was, like, the day after I got my PC two years ago. And I've been playing this game for years prior. Started out, I would play on my cousin's Xbox whenever I visited him, because he got it, and I started playing it like a few weeks after he got it. So basically right as it came out on Xbox is when I started playing this game. And so I couldn't play it much because it's not like I visited him all the time, but then eventually I convinced my mom to get it on her computer, and I also got a Wii U eventually. And so I, I got Minecraft on my Wii U and on my mom's computer. A laptop thing so I'd play it on my Wii U when I was at my home and then whenever I was visiting my mom I'd play on uh, her laptop for context yeah I don't live with my mom I feel like you know I haven't mentioned that because I don't know why I would but yeah I, I feel like that context is needed I guess and I don't live on my own I live with family just you know not my mom <laughs> but yeah I had that forever and then when I got my first phone it couldn't play Minecraft because it was like a really old hand-me-down phone my aunt gave me. She like just factory reset it and I just had it. And that was the first phone I got. It was like, I think near the beginning of middle school-ish. I don't know. But it was really bad. I could, you know, not really text either because I didn't have any service for it. It could get like maybe three games. It did have a feature though that I miss. So that's my bet, sir. Give me that. But the feature was I could download videos from YouTube directly onto my phone. And I don't know if that's just a feature the phone had, an old feature YouTube used to add, but it was so amazing. I could just download it as an MP3 or an MP4 just directly to my phone from YouTube. And it was amazing, and I, I missed that. But Oh, and I could take the battery out directly from the back. So if the phone ever, like, crashed and, like, 
I couldn't actually click the power button on the screen or whatever to shut it off. I could just take the battery out and put it back in again. That was really useful. Sorry, off topic. But basically, I played on my Wii U for years. And that was until it, like, fully stopped updating, even. Like, I think, if I remember correctly, the last thing they did was they added observers? Or I don't even know if they did. I think I was waiting for that update. But by that point, they'd stopped doing anything with the Wii U version. So it just stopped getting updates. But whatever the last update was, and then I still played on that for, like, years. Finally, I got a phone, and I played on mobile. I played on Pocket Edition Minecraft for more years, and it was amazing, still. I, obviously there were a lot of bugs, but it just made it so much funnier when I was just like hanging out with friends and there was like dumb bugs or whatever. And there are still so many things I miss about that. Like being able to dye water in cauldrons or, you know, put potions in cauldrons or whatever was just such a good feature that I'm so sad that Java doesn't have. Same thing with like armor stands with hands and being able to give them redstone inputs to pose them was so good for things too. And like a bunch of other stuff, but yeah. So I'm not, you know, forgetting about Bedrock or Pocket Edition when I was making that video. I obviously know it exists and I know that, you know, obviously the DLC and like skin stuff and everything there that costs money is really weird. But the thing is you don't have to buy any of that. You still get the game and you still get updates constantly even without the Transformers DLC or any of that weird stuff. It's still worse than just being able to get mods with Java, obviously. I'm not saying it's not. I'm just saying, yes, I did account for Bedrock and Pocket Edition. That was the majority of my life. I've only been playing Minecraft on Java for two years. <laughs> so, and I've been playing basically since it was out on Xbox 360. So, what else can I talk about? Let's just random you guys want to know the history of the first youtubers i watched it's a really good story it's not it's kind of boring basically whenever i visited my mom sometimes i just like sit down on her laptop watch youtube or whatever um or like movies but she'd always put them on and then she found like a good kids channel which was like what was it evan tube gaming i don't know or like Ryan, it wasn't Ryan's Toys Review, that didn't exist, but I think it was Evan Tube Gaming or Evan Tube HD. And he was like a year older than me, I think. So I liked watching him because he was like a kid and he reviewed toys and made like funny, goofy little things and videos and stuff. And he was, you know, literally one year older than me doing like YouTube and being super successful and stuff. And I basically only watched him for a while because my mom didn't want me like watching any weird stuff. Um, and so... It was only, the only time I started, like, moving on to other channels is in a few of Evan's videos, he talked about channels he watched, and the main one was Stampy. So, because Evan and his father that was in, like, some of the videos approved of Stampy, my mom let me watch Stampy. And then that's how I got into Minecraft, and from Minecraft I started getting into, like, Minecraft roleplay was pretty cool, like, with Sam Gladiator doing his, like, FNAF stuff, and, um... I watched My Street and, like, Minecraft Diaries and stuff. I'm still so sad that Minecraft Diaries and, like, all that stuff ended and now Afmo doesn't really do that anymore. She's more of just a generic kids channel now, which is kind of sad. But yeah, I got into all that, and then from there, I got into, like, Sam Gladiator's uh, Yandere High School and, like, FNAF roleplay stuff a lot. So I wanted to watch normal FNAF, because... He did a lot, but my family was like, oh no, Five Nights at Freddy's scary, you can't watch that. So instead I'd watch uh, Venturian Tale. I, I found Venturian Tale, they did, um, you know, Gmod Five Nights at Freddy's stuff, and so I watched them for like a while too. And from there I just watched their normal videos and stuff as well, because they were just funny and I liked all of them. And then the first time I actually watched a FNAF video, it was Markiplier. Um, and then from Markiplier, I started watching, you know, Jacksepticeye, PewDiePie, all that. But genuinely, when I tell you this, it is still true to this day. The, the like, night after I was allowed to watch a FNAF video, greatest sleep I had ever. I think it was because, like, for years I was like, please, and then they kept being like, no, blah, 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 blah. And then finally they're like, yeah, you can watch a FNAF video. And I was like, yes, and I slept so well that night. And now I'm subscribed to over like 3,000 different YouTubers. I think it's way more. It's just the max that YouTube says is like the list and then plus 3,000 more. And it's just such a large variety of things now too. Like I watch a bunch of like random cooking stuff, clips from shows, just so many different things, like hour long videos talking about shit that I don't even know about. And it's great. But yeah. Yeah, um, 
I mean, I made another portal. Um, I made a little house. And I don't really know what else to do. So I think that's it. I also just don't know what else to talk about. I feel like there's so many things in here that I just, like, missed out on half of or just, like, forgot while I was talking about it and went on a tangent about something else. But it's whatever. But I guess I'll see you next time. I'm working on, like, well, technically working on, like, three videos right now. Three Minecraft videos, to clarify. I don't really work on the Roblox ones. I just kind of film those and edit those in the same day. There's not really, like, things that go into that. One of them's a bee like um, One of them is something to do with the back rooms, because I love the back rooms. It's great. And then one of them is obviously the multiplayer impossible map thing that I've been working on for a few months. It's technically done. Like, the main map is done. I've just been adding so many random secret things and secret areas and, like, testing and doing a bunch of stuff with that. But yeah, I, I can't zoom in on 1.21.1. I forgot that I don't have Optifine for this version. But yeah, um, see ya. Like and subscribe, I guess. I mean, if you wanna, I guess. <laughs>